Hey friends, Cassie Shaw here, your superstar director, and I am back today to talk to you about making your list of 100. In the beginning of my business, I didn't realize what important role this would play for me. I didn't do it. And many times early on, I would find that people didn't do it. And I'm going to explain why I feel like it's important, um, how I make the list, and then what I do with that list. So. I feel like a list of 100 is important because it helps you get out of the mindset of the few people you think you know. You may think everyone you know is on your Facebook friends list, and you may have quite a few of them, but if you think of people almost like um, like a, a route or an avenue to other people, that will help because that is how your list is going to help you. Your list of 100 at all is also very good because when you sit down to intentionally work your business, you can go through this list and you can... Um, contact people, you can keep it updated and all that great stuff. So in all honesty, I've had about 5,000 list, list of 100s and what you would love to do is start off and create a space for this list and to continue adding to it. You'll have people from that list to become a customer, people from that list to become team members. You just never know what they're going to become on that list. So how do you make a list of 100? Well, first you're going to want to start with some paper and I get pen and paper out or you can make it on your phone or whatever notes. And simply, let's start here. So when I first started, one of the first people on my list of 100 was my mom. So I wrote mom. But beyond thinking about just my mom, I needed to think about who is it that my mom knows or that is in her circle that I don't necessarily know. So I thought about, it was almost like, almost like a family tree, right? And I would just add them to a number. Well, my mom works with Joyce, wrote Joyce down. My mom works with Terry. Although they all work together, they all have their own circles of people. So I would write these people down. Um, think about um, church. So you would think about church and think about the people you know from church. A really good way for me to make my list of 100 is also to go through my Facebook friends list. And I'll just make a list. And I always put, do I want to talk to them about joining, hosting, or buying? And honestly, the best thing to do is always start out with a join opportunity. They're not interested. Great. If you want to host, you can get free Cincy. If they're still not interested, you can, you know, then just introduce them to the product. So the list of 100 is going to help you get out of your comfort zone. It's going to help you already have people that you know that you want to contact. It's going to help you brainstorm more people and you're going to be able to continually add to it because you can miss opportunities all the time. Let's say I'm eating lunch with Sally Sue and she, uh, she's on my list of 100, but she mentions that um, something about her mom loves lotion or something. Well, guess who sells lotion? That would be me. Sally Sue's mom needs to go on my list. I need to make sure I get a sample to Sally Sue's mom, a catalog, something. So she is not a missed opportunity on my part. Part of being a consultant and using your list of 100 and everything else in this business is that you definitely always, always, always want to make sure that you are listening to people and figuring out how you can solve the problems they may have. Maybe um, something stinks. Maybe they have an odor in their car. You know, we are a fragrance company. Maybe they love taking baths. Hello, bath bombs and soaks. We have so many opportunities. Maybe they're going to a baby shower. If we listen more and speak less, we will find that we can help so many other people um, with our business. And that list of 100 is a great way to get you going. One of the things early on in my business, I always, and I still do, um, use my list of 100 to do is always to book parties. Obviously, I'm always going to start it with a joint opportunity because I'm planning the seat. I can't tell you how many times someone has told me no, and a year or two later, they've joined my team. They're still here. So plant those seeds, and then if they're not interested, book a party with them. I know you can do it, so you guys get your pen and paper out and start making that list of 100. If you already have it, go ahead and go add to it. Brainstorm. Think about how this person connects to this person, this person, this person, and make your list bigger. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you again soon.